Hey everybody and welcome to my socially speaking and eating mukbang show. I'm your girl Sunny Day and this is the D, the R, the E, the A to the M dream. Hey. And we're eating jerk food today. Yes. Jerk chicken. Caribbean Jamaican in the building. Mm -hmm. The name of the restaurant is called Jerk City. Jerk chicken, of course, the peas and rice, a little mac and cheese, and of course, some veggies. But before we chow down, we know we got to thank the Most High. Father, thank you so much for this meal today. Thank you for every meal, and thank you for the day, and thank you. For your protection, your grace, and your mercy. And we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, of course, like if you're so inclined to do so. And please subscribe. And today's topic is um, a little bit about what a, a condition is called um, seasonal affective disorder. It's a situation that occurs sometimes with people around the holidays. I lightly mentioned it earlier this year, um, earlier this year, well, a couple of months ago, and I said I was going to talk about it. Um, um, of course, these kinds of topics, we don't always like to talk about them, but we have to. And of course, I have been speaking to a lot of people in my comings and goings who are experiencing some sadness. Now, seasonal affective disorder does only occur specifically around the holidays. Only, okay? And it's not to be confused with just normal, regular sadness. It's something that um, people experience because it's mostly dark around this time of year also. And sometimes some of the symptoms will be wanting to isolate, isolating, um, irritable, mm -hmm. tired, lethargic, um, disheartened, like feeling defeated and sad. Sometimes even muscle pain. You can sometimes feel it in your body. And sometimes like not thinking clearly. Those are a lot of the symptoms. Mm. Excuse me. So if you're um, feeling some of those around the holidays, uh, and like an increased appetite or a decreased appetite, you want to get into focus. Now, um, unfortunately, our new normal is that a lot of us spend more and more and more time with less and less people. And that's because people have grown to be increasingly um, I just got to say it like it is. I, I want to dance around it, but people have grown to be very selfish. Very mean, very narcissistic. So, people are finding themselves more and more to themselves. So, mm -hmm. if you have an issue, almost any kind of issue, Financial, emotional. You kind of got to um, rely more on yourself and God to get you through it and out of it, to be honest with you. That's pretty much the only way you're going to get through it and out of it in a healthy way. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. People try to go around God. All you do is end up coming right back to them. Because that's the only way you're going to really, really be free and live a good life. 
Mm -hmm. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. So, if you or you know someone that's experiencing seasonal affective disorder around the holiday time, if it's your friend or family member, somebody you care about, try to offer them support. Try to offer them comfort. Try to do something fun with mm -hmm. them or something pleasurable, something good. Yes. Try to keep them company. Try to get them to thinking positively, you know, um, around this time of year, there's a lot of events going on, even in boring, small cities or towns. There's a lot going on around the holiday season. So if you or someone you know are experiencing seasonal affective disorder, encourage them to get up and get on. Listen, I don't do it, but I went to the movies and it was like mad people in the movies alone. I was like, wow, male and female, young and older. Now me, I don't really like going to the movies alone because I always got something to say. <laughs> I'm always talking. So I have no issues with talking to strangers. I could spark up a conversation with almost anybody, a stimulating conversation. But I know other people might not appreciate that. So I try not to impose myself upon people. But when I go to the movies, I got stuff to say about the movies. I mean, I'm not that one talking through the movie, but right. I got something to say. So if I'm in the movie theater alone, I can't just trust that the person I just happen to be sitting next to feels okay with me talking to them. So, but I bring that up because if you're comfortable going to the movies alone and you enjoy it, that is something you can do to help combat seasonal affective disorder <clears throat> and get involved with something you like. A lot of people become involved with things that other people like. You gotta get involved with things you like. You have to become insightful enough to know what you like, what your preferences are. Because what I like is the old saying, what you eat don't get me full. Mm. And that is so true. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's so true. So I can't be running around here doing stuff you do. I gotta run around here doing stuff I do. Stuff I like to do. That sounds about right. Mm-hmm. So find out what you like. And get to it. There's no affective disorder or not. Get involved with stuff that you are inclined to do. And get your rest. Yes. Get to sleep. Sleep on sleep. And get your rest. And if you can, male or female, pamper yourself. If you can get, and if you like, body massages, Get more of those. Facial. You guys know I like those um those masks. Those are very relaxing. They offer a really nice reprieve, a really nice facial mask. They're even good for guys. So there's a mm. lot of things that you can do to lift your spirits. Especially around this time of year. You can pray. Mm -hmm. you pray on. Volunteer. Tons of places needing help. It feels so good to give back. 
Oh you know, my I god. I in my school all the time. Mm hmm. Bake sales and um, wrapping Christmas gifts for Christmas. Uh, what they call it? Soup kitchen. Shelters. Shelters. Feeding the hungry. Hospitals, institutions. Mm hmm. People always need a helping hand. Yeah. And it feels good. Nursing homes, reading a book to somebody, some kids. Yes. I mean, when it comes down to senior citizens and stuff like that, and the elderly, it will be extensive background checks. Mm. It's really hot. Mom's too. But. Um, that's something to do to lift your spirits, to make you feel good. <clears throat> Volunteering somewhere and doing something where you have to be bright. Now, a part of our new normal is people aren't that bright and cheery and many people, unfortunately, aren't in a good mood anymore mm -hmm. mental health or not um it doesn't matter pretty much almost everybody seems to be upset on the bad mood yeah like about the something mm -hmm. so act as if until it becomes a part of you if you typically don't say hey hello good morning how are you start to do that and if you already do it try to increase it and this is such a, a great opportunity to do that mm -hmm. because of the holiday season you know mm -hmm. I know sometimes it can be a little hard and some people seem like they are not approachable but don't do it for them do it for you yeah, you know that saying. If you don't see the example, then be the example. So, if you know someone experiencing mm, seasonal affective disorder, those are some things you can help them with. Spend the time around them, inviting them out, and try to avoid overuse of alcohol, okay? No drinking and driving. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Not at all. I don't know if we talk about that. Yeah. I told y'all about somebody I recently met that's so cavalier about drinking and driving and smoking weed and thinks it's funny. A 21 year old. Mm -mm. Take your Uber, take your Lyft, spend the night, wait it out, drink at home, be jumping behind that wheel. Don't do it. Mm -mm. That's not fly. At all. So, I want to take this opportunity. I know it's a little premature, but I do want to wish you happy holidays. I mean, it's not really premature. We just finished Thanksgiving, right? I'm going to drag these holidays out. Because this is. So, I actually like Christmas and New Year's and Thanksgiving more than my own birthday. Isn't that crazy? Wow. But I do because it comes in three. Christmas. New Year's um, Thanksgiving. I like it because it's all punched together. <clears throat> we start celebrating in November and we take it all the way to January. Like, that's hot. And then, like, the first two weeks of the New Year, we're like, Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. So, I love that. 
I love that. I jump on the opportunity to be extra happy and try to over um, extend myself and my kindness and my cheery attitude to people. That's why it's my favorite. I'm driving out. Okay. I'm trying to do a full 90 days out of it if I can. That last week in January. Uh -uh -uh. But it's dream birthday, January. So the party continues. Anyway, so you have to find yeah. celebratory reasons to feel you experience more pleasure. We all have to do that in this new normal. I mean, we already did it anyway, but we kind of got to put a little more effort into it nowadays. This is a very different world. Yeah. Like the song. It's a different world. It's a different world. Oh, right? Mm-hmm. It's definitely a different world from the past 10 years. Sad that it came down to this, though. Yeah. But like I said, you don't see that example, then you be that example. And it's kind of trying. It's, it's, it's got to put forth some serious effort. But we got to do it because you can't succumb to the misery mm -hmm. or the ugliness if you can help it. You gotta fight for your happiness mm -hmm. every day and don't let anybody steal it and it's okay if you get a moment of sadness a moment okay regroup and get right back at it right um i have done my christmas shopping i did promise to show you guys um some of my bargains but because the bargain I got, I'm giving them out. So I can't, like, you know, say, look what I got for Nancy and then and then turn around and give it to somebody. It just might happen to watch. And mm -hmm. I don't want them to know how much they're good for. So I mean, but I don't. So after the holidays, I'm going to get with you on the bargains. different things I see. I'll let you know about them. And to also brighten up and be, you know, cheerful and bring you up. Get yourself a Christmas tree. We got ours. That's a good one. Um, I'm not sure where you can get one. It said, you know, the local stores like Target and Walmart or whatever. Mm-hmm. Rite Aid or whatever. Lowe's. Lowe's. There's some places. I Home Depot. Home Depot. There's some places I know that have those little Christmas tree times where you chop a Christmas tree outside in a tree, like how you do with a pumpkin. So go there, get yourself a Christmas tree, you know, put a little bit, uh, spread a little bit of love on it, get some lights, get some ornaments on it, do, 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 do. you know, excuse me, that will brighten up your spirit, you know, you and your family. Or you by yourself, treat yourself and get yourself a cute little Christmas tree. It don't have to be big, okay? Go out there, get a little star on top. That would be cute. I heard somebody say, they're spending Christmas with their dog. Now, I mean, she's not that much in the mood, but somebody else said she wasn't getting the tree because her dog died. But the other lady was telling me about how she's been to Christmas with her dog. Now, I, I know we treat pets better than we treat humans. Yeah, we treat animals <clears throat> better than humans. So, um, sad, but. Oh. They usually get plantains. That's why he gave us that mac and cheese. Oh. 
Oh. Sorry. Um. Oh, excuse me. My mouth is on fire. Soda is not something I should be drinking with this. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm. Try to ice it up. But they ain't doing it. Mm. Yeah. So this lady <clears throat> was telling me how she's not getting the tree. She's depressed. I don't know her well enough to know if she I wasn't trying to figure out if she had seasonal affective disorder or anything. Kinda of crossed my mind when she was talking. But um She said that she just doesn't do the Christmas tree or anything as far as decorating. And I did try to encourage her to at least get some kind of decoration that she likes. Something. Because decorating is very inspiring, it's very encouraging, and it's uplifting. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, it helps alter your mood. Um, she didn't say it, but I could see she was definitely sad. Um, I don't know if it was depression or whatever, but she just she just doesn't do it anymore and she spends her time with her dog for Christmas and that's what she's looking forward to. And I totally get it because we don't treat each other good anymore, so people are isolated and with the drawing. Um kind of naturally now, and we treat each other so bad nowadays, that's probably like a better idea for us not to be with each other because we treat each other so bad when we do get together. That's true. Sad. It's pathetic. <laughs> but if you can, Try to decorate something mm -hmm. if you um, are experiencing seasonal affective disorder. Try to decorate any any way you can. Yeah, it could even be look simple as this: buying a cute little Christmas um, phone case. I know they have those out there. I saw a couple. They do. Really cute. Mm -hmm. Amazon. That sounds good. Or like a little decorated um, snowball little for your phone case. Everybody has a phone case. Or your local um, phone company will have it. I know. I'm going to watch Frosty the Snowman. I love that. And Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer came on yesterday. I missed it. But um, I've been checking out some of those Lifetime Hallmark Christmas movies. I did see the one that my girl was in, Tony Braxton. I liked her, but I I'm biased because I love her. She could do no wrong. But it was Christmas. It was pretty to look at the lights and stuff. And I had a nice message about love. Actually, she was a little bit depressed in the movie. Her character. Her character. And she turned it around. Um... And became loving and kind. She was playing somebody mean. Can you imagine Tony Braxton being mean? Um, and did y'all know Jada Pinkett and Tony Braxton are best friends? I did not know that. Mm -hmm. That says a lot about Jada Pinkett. Tony is a bomb.com. And. Did y'all hear about my girl J-Lo makeup line? Ooh. I am gonna go. Because my nose is running. My and my fire. mouth is all on fire. This girl is on fire. You guys, peace, love, and happiness. So speaking of peace and love, you know Soul Trade is doing. Oh, excuse me, Soul Trade is doing a movie. Yes, on Don. I'll say Don Shiloh. Cornelius. 
I gotta go. See you over the weekend. Yeah. Hey, check out that Get the movie. picture right. It's called American Soul. Lord, peace and soul. Trade. Trade.